Hi, welcome to this DMDF Twin Flame Tower Love Reading. My name's Sophia. Welcome back. Welcome, if you're new, welcome to this community. So I was getting a few things, uh, different things. Um, I was feeling a heavy heart. So uh, that's kind of sadness. I was also um, getting... Is try uh, getting rid of the old. That's what I'm feeling. The planets is trying to get you to do. Get rid of the old. This is what I'm getting. Um, so changes. Are you making the changes though? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm I'm not sure. And that's once again. That's what the planets is trying to do. I'm also getting the. It may not seem like things are working out for you but they are it's all about trust and the unseen the star kind of wishes coming through but you know people say wish upon a star and you know um but you don't really see the stars and you don't really do that but it is about wishing upon a star stars also healing as well anyway so something about restarts restarting anew so your person's coming back if there's a separation or whatever but it's about are you going to do it the same old same old or are you going to heal your past patterns all right let's see what the cards say because i can't oh yeah <laughs> i know you know it's the planet is trying to make you go for your happiness you might not see it that way, is what I'm trying to say. But, yeah. Uh, join the Facebook group. The link's in the description box. It's a private group. Um, but everyone who's like me, who um, is in mission, mission is really humanitarian work, and it means literally changing people's lives. Humanitarian work. The difference, when you think of a humanitarian, is that, you know, they're out there, Set shipping food and clothes over to a, a, a load of children starving people in Africa. Does that mean that I'm, I have to do that? No. Humanitarian work is helping um, people who are less fortunate, who are ignorant, who can't do things because they don't have the, the knowledge and stuff like that. So that's um, humans, helping humans. I don't know what to say right so what we do in mission which is facebook we do it on a one-to-one -one because the the collaboration of talking doesn't work if it did tony robbins would have changed plenty of people's lives right because lots of his stuff is good but it's just it, it, you you're too programmed from how old you are now we have to reprogram you from since you watch television, let alone your friends and your family. So that's why one to one. So we do we do humanitarian work on a one to one. Put it that way. That's mission. Uh, so if you're interested in that or just interested in uh, more uh, additional readings, tower readings, because we all post all of us who are humanitarians in mission in this community post in the Facebook group. So join us. Um, Okay, so let's see what's happening here. Oh, side note, my son started posting again. And if you're new, my son Quan is in and out of the community, let's just say, but he's got a tarot shop. So he just got his tarot shop, and because it was new, he's been in there two, three weeks. So he's like, okay, I'm just sitting in the shop. I'll just post as he's sitting in the shop. But he's gangster. Come on, he's, 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 he's from me. So he's, he's, he's already busy. <laughs> so he's closed his channel. Because everyone's like, oh, really? Oh, oh so please, Quan's back. But he's gone again. <laughs> he's actually closed it. I don't know. I said to him, just don't post. But he just wanted to close it. So I'm just, just side note. So his shop's doing very well. I'm going to record a video of it and pull it in in Facebook. I've done a little link to it, but that's really, you can't really see much. But, yeah, anyway. Uh, fourth Cups, Hanged Man. I can't really pronounce that. 
uh, some days, tomorrow I might be able to say it perfectly well, nine of pentacles, mm, different energies, different people, different perspectives from different people, four of pentacles, and I'll jump into these, it's connected with you, so your person's over there, focused on you, I, I don't know what to say here, that's what it's get. Four of Pentacles is bored with a situation. Well, you know, with this reading, this is how I'm picking it up, right? Third party is here. Here's you, right? Angelic from the clouds. Hand from the clouds. That's you. And there's your person thinking about what to do. Um, I'm fed up with what's going on now. I feel there was a tower, which there has been, right? I think the first card here would have been a tower moment that's made him think... I'm bored of the situation of, because they try to be middle ground, and that's what you try to do, the mirror, the mirror, Sophia, I won't fuck off my family, right, I won't fuck off my friends who cuss out my twin flame, so what I'll do is I'll be middle ground, right, I'll just say what my friends want to hear, and I'll just go to my family, that's middle ground, you, you're middle ground, and then I'll say, that's why you always get your person who doesn't release the third party, but still doesn't go towards you, in the middle, this planet is either or, two polarities, negative or positive, as within, so without, right, hot, cold, middle ground, there ain't no middle ground, there isn't, right, so that's why you get fed up, this is, you know, like the delay, and uh, why don't they come towards me, or why don't they leave the third party, and all that, you get fed up of it, I feel there's something here with your person getting fed up, and you're over there doing your fake-ass spiritual stuff over there. And I'm saying fake-ass spiritual stuff because I'm picking that up from the Queen of Pentacles. Such as Reiki, acupuncture, all that stuff that you say you do, which is not humanitarian work and not what light workers Twin Flames are supposed to do. Fake-ass. Hanged man. <laughs> Hanged man. Mm. It's, oh, it's between both of you. So this is about, I feel your person's taking it, you're not. And I've been saying this for ages. If you don't do what your mission, your purpose, I don't know what to call it, your path is to do, they won't stall your person because you ain't got the balls to do what you're supposed to do for example humanitarian work you are not here as a light worker twin frame star see i remember this girl woman who was in mission until i told her to start paying for mission because she was selling my programs for free perfectly well and then i was like okay can i charge you now ghost gone slagged me off then gone anyway she was called amber right and then she went on her channel and she said, oh, Sophia wants us to do mission and humanitarian work, but my mission as a twin flame is to do tarot. So it's all people that do tarot on YouTube or in general twin flames. You feel different. Different means alien. Aliens is from the planets, the stars. You feel different because you're alien and alien means be different because you are different. So if everyone else is doing tarot, that is not your mission. If you are doing something that everyone else is doing, it is not your purpose, your mission. And I, and like I was saying with your person over here, he's bored of the status quo. Shall I go towards a third party? Shall I go through for my person, right? So they are thinking, that's the delay of um, releasing control, I feel, to go towards their own path. And is it going to be you? I don't think, I don't know. I don't, I don't think so. Because you're here, sitting here, waiting for your person, feeling your person, putting the work behind you, the Empress. It's behind me, Sophia. Fuck that. That's the Empress, right? Fuck, fuck all that. Nurturing myself. Done it. It's behind me, right? Done all the hermit and all that. Done. I've, I've gone with it. I've done all that kind of work. Sophia, don't need to do it, right? 
oh, I say to them all the time, how many programs do you want me to make? I would just love to be up here just doing tarot. I've got all my new thumbnails ready to go because I want to post for a day. No, no, no. They're giving me program after program because you haven't done it. Humanity hasn't done it. Literally. So this is about you thinking you've done the work, but this planet is, a, is, is evolving. It evolves. It moves. Let's just call it that. So that you move. It's not that you do something, you tick it off the list. It's so that you move. But it's like, no, look, both of them, the Empress is about nurturing and loving yourself. Abundance, birthing things new, all that kind of thing. And there's a hermit. Waiting for my person to get married, Sophia. Look, the church, where is he? I feel him. That's you. The devil here is in the middle because my hanged man is like a devil all right look i love this card i always say it but the person who made these decks of cards this was the only card she created every other one i told her what i wanted specifically you know i want a woman there in a green dress looking out the window make sure the Turk church is near the window make sure she's holding her hands stuff like that right I told her like that, right? Abundant and stuff like that. This one, she said, I've got an idea, vision for the hangman. So go for it. And she done it like a reptilian devil. To me, that's... Um, and no hangman looks like... I don't know where she got it from. I was like, wicked. Nice, right? Because everything's divine. My point. This is what kept... Because the hangman is stuck on the belief system because the hangman is on the trip. A tree is a rooted, like a tree, you can't just pull it out, can you? You have to cut that fucker because of it's so, you can't, you know, you have to cut trees down. It's so deeply rooted. So the delay for you getting your abundance in life is because you follow rooted belief systems that control you. And when it's reptilian and devil horns here, that's elite secret society control. But I feel with your person, they are going their own way. Because Twin Flame contract is like, if you choose to keep waiting and doing this fluffy version of stuff of Avery and Hicks and Eckhart Tolle that don't do nothing, it's not enough. It might waken you up, but it's still not enough it still doesn't make changes you need to be handheld with this programming right and i'm not dissing them they can go and cuss me oh, i couldn't give two shits my point is in fact they're listening to me i doubt it very much my point is is that if you refuse to do what you're supposed to do right which you want to know go check out my playlist and you're like i'll do it like i've done that tick list i've done that tick list right with this i've done it now i'm waiting for my person they will release your person i've said it for over a year because you refuse to do the work now will they go so look yeah your person is choosing love choice in love will he choose you will she choose you i'm not sure because this card here and because this card here there are two options here for your person the deception the lies the seven of swords to the hangman is you're lying to yourself that you're not controlled You're lying, yeah, you know, I don't know what, you're lying to yourself about your upbringing. Refusing to see it. And that's quite common within my counselling and image reading. Right, particularly the counselling, when I do something, I ask you questions. We all ask questions, I've got a list of questions which all counsellors ask. And then I have the answers to the questions that you give. So I'm not bigging up my counselling, but I'm just saying anyone you can book. 
by the answers that you give to the counseling by you don't understand you're lying to yourself that's the that's the delay and it's like the universe is trying to enlighten you the sun to your happiness of you being controlled if anyone said to me 10 years, maybe 15 years, when I was married, put it that way, oh, you're being controlled by your family, by your mum, by your husband. I might have said, yeah, the husband, yeah, I get it, right? Mum, I'll say, yeah, she's a bit of a, yeah, she's always telling me to do things. Do you know what I mean? Now, this is serious. <laughs> Seven of Swords, mate. And the Seven of Swords is like, to me, it's like, my person's got third party, Sophia. There's cheating. There's two women here, right? There's someone else, or, you know, could be some other person, right, here. Could be pregnancy. I keep getting pregnancy as well, right? There's, the, uh, and, yeah, pregnancy, right? Found out about pregnancy uh, or something like that, right? And Seven of Swords, and it's like, but you're lying to yourself about your birth, matey. Nah, it's all right. Well, it ain't. You tell that to the to the universe. My mum treats me like a dickhead, doesn't accept me, right? Treats me like a slave, ignores me as a child. I didn't really feel love, right? Tell that to the universe. Can you? No. So all that, what you're saying, is that good or bad? Well, I would take it as a negative. So that's the seven of swords of why... Right, because you're in a control which is reptilian. Reptilian is uh, known to do with, um, to me, elite secret society, Illuminati, the program, the matrix. I was talking to Kwan's dad yesterday, actually, and can you believe it? I was because he, he he's quite he he he's he turned. <laughs> he's a bit like me now, and he was telling me uh, I I. He said about the Matrix and stuff like that. And I said, oh, I went and saw the Matrix free. And I said, I didn't like it. And he said, you don't know that the Matrix was um, stolen from a black woman called Sophia Stewart. Let me check. Yes, yeah, Stewart. Anyway, my point is why I'm waffling off a bit. Is there some enlightenment about the control which the universe is trying to teach you? And it could be literally something like that. that was like, oh, my God. If you go research Sophie Stewart and she says she'd done a book and it's true because every film that's created is from the book. And you've never heard of the Matrix book, have you? And she, she, she's quite an angry woman, to be honest with you. People say I'm angry. I'm like, no, and it's different between anger and passion. Right. Passion. But she's quite. And I would be because there is 45 billion pound like franchise of the matrix and no one's heard of her my point is there's something that you've been enlightened into to maybe connection with elite secret society you could be researching david ike mark passio something like that but you're ignoring it and like oh, okay i just want a person i've healed that or whatever and it's like it's not to do with healing the seven of swords Chariot here is Yeah, I just keep getting your your like I've moved past it. But your person is cho there's a choice out of two, right? Two, two of cups. There's a choice out of two. And I feel unless you understand that concept and do as within, so without. Hence, I've done my new program about inner child. You lot have no idea about the inner child. Everyone says the inner child is you. Even big time spiritual leaders talk about the inner child, right? Buddha and all those ones, right? But you still think that you know how to control the inner child. You don't get the concept fully about the inner child. Why I'm saying the child as within. The chariot to me is universal laws, you know, of um, as above, so below, as within, so without. And this is about balancing out your masculine. 
because that is to do with the inner child and the versions of inner child the higher self the lower self and it's like you have put that behind you i've done inner work sophia i've done a couple of counseling with she tell it's done something like that i'm not you know i'm just saying right it's done i've got your programs it's done i read so many of you and i'm like you need to get the master program sex program you, you remember that i've got it i'm like well you ain't fucking studied it you might have got it you ain't done the work queen of pentacles is sat there in a root look at you look look at this right <laughs> You're sat in a in a graveyard, a grave. That's a grave, right? Queen of Pentacles, thinking you're enlightened, right? Because oh look, Sophia, I've got the I've got the enlightened from the guides from me, right? But you're in a forest, so you're in a rooted belief system, right? That's you over here. That's why I said fake our spiritual leader. Person, what? Oh, there's a mirror, right? Sat in a fucking tree, right? Not doing anything. Right, third party, Ace of Cups. What's your third party? Religion, tradition, I need to get married, I need to do this and do all that, I need to get my monies up, whatever. I need to do it my way. Once again, another tree. I don't know what you want me to say. Tree, tree, tree is rooted belief system. But the tree represents the tree of life, the Kabbalah. Let me get some alien advice here. It's about moving forward with a chariot. Moving past the deception that you found out, Seven of Swords, right? It And are you going to move past it and then go back to crystals? Because that's what I feel. There's something that's been highlighted to you that can make you go deeper into finding things out and all you're doing is just focusing on your pentacles here nine of pentacles queen of pentacles there's two choices it's like your person is and that's the delay there's one that's a mum right He's got kids with, she's got kids with, and then there's you, Mr. Mrs. Independent. That's that's the delay. Who's he or her picking? Well, you're not loving yourself if you're waiting for your person. Now, it's very hard because... If there's some deception here with the Seven of Swords, I get it, but it's about if you're going to work in a supermarket or the other bullshit spirituality, then it's not really connected with your twin flame. How how's Reiki and crystals connected with twin flame? Is what I'm trying to say. Or light work or humanitarian work. So it doesn't make you stop thinking and feeling and wanting your person. Now, if there's, there's, there's definitely a third party here. There's definitely two, uh, uh, two options, right? And But you're the Ace of Cups here with the Four of Cups. But you're both you're in a belief system, so is he. He or she, whatever. You need to change it. It's like you're both there's something to do with earth. It's about collaborating worlds. I I it's gonna sound fucked up. I don't know what else to say. Uh, yeah that's what i'm getting you're not between both of you and your person you're supposed to be teaching others about manifestation which is top of the tree of life which is merging 
how do I say that? How to manifest is all the alchemical elements. But what you're doing, say you're selling crystals, there's nothing to do with your person. Your person is 3D and that's correct. But what you're doing is not really... It's still 3D. Like I said, it's still 3D. I don't give a shit how galactic you talk to me about spaceships and Andromeda and, and star seeds and, and Palladians. I don't care. Unless you're doing something that's aligning with oneself, which is inner work, then you're 3D. You simply are spitting out your downloads or your information you're getting from upstairs. That's all you're doing which is 3D, which is a Tony Robbins, which is 3D. You're just speaking different because I'm getting both of these cards as 3D. And that's why Twin Flames don't work because you're not supposed to be 3D. You're supposed to be inside loving yourself. You're the heart space. So the stool is that. Alchemy, like I said, there's something to do with manifestation, alchemy here. And it's about you facing stuff, facing stuff in the mirror, looking in the mirror to things that may seem scary to you. Like I was saying about the elite and secret society. If you guys get the Twin Flame program, I've got links about David Icke. Now he goes deep into that fucking rabbit hole, right? Seven hour video. Same with Mark Passio about universal laws. Both of them seven-hour videos, right? You get them free. They're not mine, but I put them in there. That's what you need to know. Enlighten you to stuff. And you have to face in the mirror, right? And it's like you don't want to face it, but you feel it. And that's connected with who you are. It's definitely connected with who you are. To manifest your pentacles, you have to take consistent action. I said... This Queen of Pentacles, sorry, this Nine of Pentacles, I've done it. It's consistently. So I say to them, look, how many programs do you want me to do? Now, they're not saying I'm going to consistently do it, but I'm making programs so it's a consistency. Because what you do when you're negative, which I've done in my new program, um, the inner child one, is you go and do a physical stuff. You have to consistently... Look on the inner child and check how the inner child is. Because the inner child is you. You are not. This is the confusion. You think you are you. You're the inner child. But you're not doing that. I've done the inner child work, Sophia. I've loved myself. I've been single and isolated and climbed the mountain. But why are you manifesting your connection? Because you're not dealing with it correctly. Like I said, there's something to do with alchemy, with the alchemical elements. And I said it's to Earth. It's to Earth. Talking about starships, planets, astrology and tarot doesn't mean you're spiritual and you're on the cosmic. It doesn't. If you're that spiritual and you know all those downloads and no one knows about it, and you're not literally changing someone's life, you're 3D. And both of you are 3D here. And it's your person to be the 3D one. Not you. You are the humanitarian one. And so are they. They still do it, but they do it on the 3D. You're doing it on the 3D, which you're not supposed to do. I run as I keep hurting you. Yeah, Seven of Swords, there's something here that they, they're ghosts, right? The ghost now because seven of swords because and there's a choice now for your person to pick out of two right and you may feel that well they're going to choose me because i'm more independent right but this one is a rooted belief system i'll stay with the kids the mother of the kids with this, the four of cups is the choice. This is a choice. I don't know what to say, right? This is a choice. And the ace of cups kicks ass on the three of cups. But the three of cups represents a celebration. 
So a celebration to me is known as like a pregnancy. So they, he stays or she stays with this person because of marriage or pregnancy or got kids. Three of cups. Because of that celebration of the child. So you think you're the better person because you're independent, you're doing your own thing. But he's tied to a belief system of being with someone who, you know, probably pregnancy or something like that, who holds him or her by the balls with the money. The only way to pull your person, because the choice here, two of cups, the choice here is to emotionally align with yourself. And where is the heart? Is that outside the window you're looking at, waiting for your person? No, it's inside. Your heart cups, because these are cups. Three or four of cups is he's choosing, right? Look, two cups, choice. So, uh, and four and two is six of cups. You're the six of cups. Six of cups is past life, which is your past life connection, upstairs aliens to do on mission on planet Earth. So, choosing the six of cups but you have to align with heart. That doesn't mean saying to your person, you love them. That's physical. That's what you want. You want to physically see your person. You want to physically tell them. You want to physically have them with you get married and physically spit out some kids. Heart is inside. You must do the inside work. Fuck off, Sophia. I've done it because it's behind you. No, alchemy. Is a continuation of manifestation. Continually, right? And that's mirror. That's your shadow. That's your shadow work you're refusing to look at. And that's the stall. That's why your person runs. I run as I keep hurting you, right? Because, you know, you're not kind of getting it. Twin flames are meant to be in mission. Start or step up your Twin Flame Mission program. That I say step up. That's for those who are watching, who are in mission. So in case they want to do something, they can step it up. I really do want us to work out. I fear you will reject me. What's that about? <clears throat> I feel you have an issue with this third party. And it's kind of like, this is about empathy, mm, sympathy, no, empathy. Em empathy, they're different, right? Putting yourself in your person's shoes with the, the baby's mum or the situation. It's a judgment card. Stop judging. You lot judge so bad. Everyone judges. It really pisses me off how people just judge. They don't judge person on their own. You know, people judge me too. Oh, you're not as nice as someone else. You're so blatant or, or whatever and stuff like that. And I'm like, you lot are empaths. You should be able to read. Like I said, this Sophie, Sophia Stewart, who done The Matrix. I was watching, uh, um, she was doing a video about, the book talking about the book and i could feel her but she come across so blatant and so so you know and i'm like well, that's her that's real bad her of people just you know not believing that she made it and i didn't even know that but i still read her even though i was judging that she was very harsh and she was like how she was talking to the interviewers to me well this one guy but I still read and I understand it. You lot don't do that. So you don't understand your person. That's why you have someone who has third party with all these scenarios. So you learn to understand all different scenarios in life. What the fuck is that got to do with learning crystals or talking about the galactic or, or doing Reiki or acupuncture? It's fuck all to do with judgment card or, or knowing about people of this planet. I don't care if you've got Reiki 1001, right? What is that about being a humanitarian? It's nothing. It isn't. It's, it's nothing. And that's what you lot don't seem to understand. 
I fear you will reject me. Let's go back to that. What's going on with that? Oh, there's a fear of oneself here. And that's about balancing these connected with the chariot. The chariot is uh, too high oh, to do with the Gemini's to do with the twins. So it's about balancing out the two versions of you. And that's all I keep getting with my inner child program, which you get with counselling about balancing out your masculine and feminine. And because that will move you forward. So you first have to get into the heart space and the heart is on the inside. You lot keep thinking about spitting it out, right? Didn't you have people who said you love you? Don't you wish your person would say it to you and be there and say it to you often, right? Um, so it doesn't matter about the words. Didn't you date people who was around you all the time? It's about really connecting with the heart space and then aligning your masculine. I don't know. I'm just getting that with. I fear you will reject me. Oh, you're he or she fears you reject you because you're up in your ass, right? With this elite secret society programming of expectations of third parties. Say seven of swords, lie, cheat, still. So he or she thinks you're going to reject them from whatever this seven of swords that happened. And I'm not saying it's not bad right but it like i said there's way of dealing with it if you're not how sure how to deal with this seven of swords because there's loads of seven of swords that's come on lately then uh book counseling right we can tell you how to deal with it uh yeah so that's it for now uh check out the facebook go to the website speak to you later